With this video, I want to quickly show you two new features of MicroProfile REST Client 2.3, which is coming with the latest MicroProfile 3.3 release. To demonstrate this, I've created a sample Maven project uh, using Java 11 and just uh, Eclipse MicroProfile. In addition to this, um, I'm using Open Liberty to deploy the application tool, and for this, I'm using the Liberty Maven plugin to later on start the application in development mode. Let's take a look at how Liberty is configured. So I'm just including the micro profile feature here. And as we want to have a look at the micro profile metrics here, I'm temporarily disable authentication for the metrics endpoint. Otherwise we would need to have like proper uh, user to access this endpoint, but this is uh, fine for now. If you wanted to measure the time of a method invocation before micro profile 2.3, uh, you had just uh, simply one choice. Uh, you could use the add timed annotation, and this annotation produced a lot of uh, statistical output of the duration of your method invocation, which we can quickly have a look at. So let's start the application. So what the application does, it's a, sim a simple JAXRS endpoint and with a simple get mapping. And here I'm adding some delay using the thread.sleep method. And I'm calling the sample service to simply get this string here. And also here I have some delay so that we can later on see actually uh, something when we have a look at the timer. So application is up and running. Let's access this endpoint first. So as you saw, this took some time. So there was some small delay and uh, the string is returned. And now we can have a look at the metrics. So for this, visit uh, the metrics endpoint of Open Liberty and then application. So here we just want to have a look at the application metrics. And as I disabled authentication here, we can access it uh, with the HTTP port. Otherwise it would uh, redirect us to HTTPS and require authentication. So if we have a look at this, you will see with this simple timer, we will now get a lot of metrics. And besides a counter, there's also some statistical output. So you get like uh, percentiles here to see um, the duration uh, with like P99, P95. And also you get some rates so we have here 15 minute rates uh, five minute rates and also one minute rate so there's a lot of output which you might not actually need if you just want uh, just a timer so if you don't need that much information about your timer or you say i can also calculate this within my monitoring system and i want to reduce this uh, payload of this matrix endpoint which is scraped by prometheus um, you can now with MicroProfile Metrics 2.3 use a new annotation and this is called Simply Timed. So let's save this. And with this Simply Timed uh, annotation, you also measure uh, how long the invocation took, but with way less uh, statistical output here. So let's hit our endpoint again and let's have a look at the metrics. So what you now see, it got reduced to just two metrics. So there's now just a, a counter uh, counting the uh, total invocations of this endpoint and an elapsed time where we can see. So we spend a quarter of a second here. We spend here uh, to execute this method. So let's hit it, let's say two times again and have a look at the metrics. So you now see here, um, now in total three invocations and the total elapsed time here for the three invocation was now half a minute. So with this uh, simply timed, you um, save a lot of uh, metrical output, which you might not need. And in the case you might not need them, you can easily use just this annotation and um, get these two metrics about your timers. There's also another change with MicroProfile Metrics 2.3. There is now a new optional uh, base metrics, uh, which is uh, called REST request. So with this, 
base metrics, the application server or the vendor is instructed to optionally measure also the invocations of your JAXRS endpoints with a simple timer out of the box. Fortunately, um, Open Liberty implements this, so we can have a look at metrics slash base, where we will just get the base metrics, something like uh, CPU usage and memory is also included here. If we first like access our endpoint, let's say three times, and then check for this new base metric, we should see it here and it's in the namespace base underscore and then rest request total. So this now tracks how many re rest requests we had for our JAXRS class and with the method. So it would be splitted by method. So you could easily track your put, get, and post requests, how often they were invoked. And you see like out of the box, we now get here this uh, counter of three. But this is actually not just a counter. This is in the next line you see, you have also here this elapsed time. You just saw with the simply timed. So internally, um, Open Liberty uses a a simple timer here to track your uh, JAXRS uh, invocations out of the box. But as this is optional, there might be other application vendors uh, which don't implement this. So for, for these, you can think of like um, adding the simply timed annotation or the metered annotation for your uh, JAXRS endpoints for your own, if you want to have this uh, information about the invocations. <laughs> Thank you.